frighten you. Maybe now you'll understand. Back off! Did you get a knot in your stomach? Did you panic? You see, I know what it feels like. That's because you forced your way into my daughter's life. But man, leave me alone. I wish I could. I'd like to forget you exist, but I can't do that. Not until you give me a word that you will stay out of Emily's life. To bully you, if I thought it would work, I would try. And what do you want? I'm trying to appeal to your conscience. My daughter tells me that you're a decent man, and I'm hoping that she's right. And what, and I'm supposed to persuade you of that? Do you really care about my daughter? She tells me that you saved her life, and for that I'm very grateful. But can you swear to me that you're going to be able to save her life the next time you get ambushed in the street? I'm doing everything I can you to put Cyril away. You were lucky last night. There will be another time. And if you survive, there will be a time after that. Thanks for your support. You are a moving target. And if Emily is with you, she is a target as well. Look, after Cyril goes to jail, everything... Surely you must know that criminal empires can be run from the inside of a prison? My daughter has done so much for you. Can't you do one unselfish thing for her? Get yourself out of her life before she gets killed. What happened? Nothing. I just took you at your suggestion, and I'm trying to get to know your friend. Are you all right? Yeah, sure, I'm fine. Well, I'm glad to see that you're better. Thank you very much for your time. I trust you'll do the right thing. Let me guess. Stay away from my daughter, right? Your, your dad loves you. Stay away from my daughter, please. What are you, uh, what are you doing here so early? I couldn't sleep, really. I wanted to come see you. You're supposed to be on vacation. Vacation? Excuse me, from what? Remember school? You're supposed to be enjoying yourself, going to see movies, hanging out with friends. Movies, the day I've been attacked. Why don't you go down to that pond, you know, with ice skating? Get some fresh air and just clear your head. Bottom line, you are trying to get rid of me. It's not gonna happen. Okay, let me get this straight. My dad comes to visit you and uh, get to know you better, and suddenly you want me to leave. You know that's not true. I mean, you just want me to go ice skating like my life is completely normal? Emily, it would be if it wasn't for oh, me. Oh, Sander, come on. Can't you see when you're being manipulated? My parents are brilliant with using guilt. Look, your family is afraid for you, and they have a right to be. And I have a right to my own feelings. I'm not the same person I was six months ago. I'm not going to pretend like I am. Emily, Emily, you could have been killed yesterday. I could have been killed last summer, right? When I was in that sleazy that, motel, and you Emily, stopped Emily, that's not what me? I'm talking about. I'm talking about the mission yesterday. Oh, when you saved my life again? Look, I'm alive because of you. If you're saying you owe me, you don't. Sander. I woke up. Naked next to a corpse. Spent the next couple months dreading everything. Yeah, it was because of me. No, it was because of Sorrel. Xander, I can't go back to my normal life until I put this nightmare behind me. And I can't do that until Sorrel's in jail. And that won't happen until you testify. Everyone says that I'm such a good person. That has nothing to do with this. This has nothing to do with us even being friends. I am as invested in putting Sorrel away as you are. Whether my parents like it or not, I'm sticking around and seeing this through. Whether I like it or not? You like it fine. You know you like it. Are you this stubborn? Shut 
hard to miss. Hey, good news. You're being discharged. I can leave the hospital? Where will he go? Protective custody. Back to jail. What? Unless you want to dodge bullets, yeah. Hi, it's Alexis. Please leave a message after the tone. Alexis, it's Emily. Are you there? We need your help. Alexis, please, are you there? Emily, what's wrong? Hey, uh, Xander's been discharged, but, um, Dagrid wants to take him back into custody. Protective custody? That's what he said. You tell him to stay right there, don't move, I'll be right there. Girl needs you eliminated. What do you think he's saying to his man right now? You botch this one. Don't make me mad this time. Take him out. Could we not do this right now? Well, obviously it's not sinking in. You leave this building on your own. You'll be dead by the end of the day. I think we should think about this. So you're saying two cops are supposed to keep me alive? Long enough to testify. Yeah. We want you to nail Sorrell. The ones that aren't on his payroll? Cheap shot. Yeah, well, it's just the truth. You know how many times I was threatened in custody? We were having problems. Nobody hurt you. Uh, yeah, until two cops with machine guns mowed us down? They weren't cops. They were thugs in uniform. You don't know that. What I do know is you won't survive 20 minutes on the street. Well, I won't be on the street. I'll hide out. I'm good at that. Where are you going to go? Not to jail. Cruise, maybe? I'm going to make arrangements for my client. Burial arrangements? I plan to take all responsibility for my client's safety. Well, I think it's a mistake. Well, I disagree. You're on your own. Thanks. You're welcome. So, where do I go from here? Just, uh, the pool house, the boat house. Just somewhere to hide out until you're safe. Yeah, except your father. Yeah, he'll freak at first, but eventually he'll come around. Maybe so, but Edward won't. You cannot stay at the gatehouse. Well, uh, maybe I could rent my old room back. That's the first place they'll look. Uh, what about a motel? I have an idea. Help me find this young man something to wear. Are you sure you're cool with this? You wouldn't be here if I weren't, Johnny. No visitors unless I know who they are first. Let me get some less cleared with you first. Thanks, Johnny. Works for Sunny, works for you. I mean, I'm not going to get in the way. Guest room, there's a lot of room. Ned wants to know that you're here. Ned! Good. Not your home. We have company.